Welcome to our I God Today followers, not only in this country, but around the world as well. Hi, my name is Brother Stephen Party, SVD, and I am humbled to be able to share today's reading with you. I really appreciate your pulling us up on this app today. The whole of the New Testament illustrates a compassionate Jesus who is gentle, kind, and so very non-judgmental. His preaching and teaching was live and let live in the extreme. In today's gospel, he is going after the religious leaders of his day and the many impositions they were laying on the people they were meant to shepherd. Well, some might say that things have not changed that much today. It is certainly bad enough when our political leaders benefit themselves at the cost to their electorate. It is much, much worse when our religious leaders do likewise. They preach and do not practice, he says. They love places of honor and they love to be recognized. They come up with theological justifications for imposing rules and restrictions. In short, they can make life confusing at best and downright difficult at worst. So Jesus noted that such leaders should be respected. The great principles are to be followed, and he points these out in Matthew's Gospel. The law is based on two great principles of reverence for God and respect for a man's well-being. These are eternal, and these, and those who teach them, are to be respected. But beyond that, anything else making life an intolerable burden, he was against. Do the teachings lift a person up or do they drag a person down? Do they create joy or depression? Is religion helping or hurting? So whenever religion becomes a burden, it ceases to be a true religion. Jesus really did keep it simple. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Everything, he said, hangs on those two commandments. So today's reading, Jesus is never more real or true or compassionate. Amen.